two of my prints are at the large print water or large print area. There's one of them right here. And let's go look for the other one, which is right over here. So today is the day I'm actually going to be picking up my prints that got accepted into tier two at the Del Mar Fair or San Diego County Fair Photography. So I'm actually headed to the printer right now to pick them up and this one's a little bit different as far as the prints go because I'm not going to be mounting them. Some of the requirements that uh, the fair has is that you can't have them on float mounts only because they have to mount hundreds and hundreds of photos on the wall and of course for safety reasons they can't have all these Float mounted frames. Super excited. I submitted four uh, four photos to be uh, entered into the fair. Three of them got picked. I don't know if there's any award on any of them, but the fact that three out of four got picked just to even be at the fair is, is a big deal. Um, something just, you know, most people and some people don't get any accepted. And you can actually submit up to 20 photos. Super excited, super honored to, uh, to even have one in there let alone three out of the four that I submitted. So there's actually two drop-off dates. Today is actually one of those dates. While they're setting up the fair, you have to drop off your photos and then they're gonna have to review it to make sure it's the same one that you submitted, as well as it, it meets all the um, specifications and requirements for it to be entered, for it to go onto the walls. When your printer has a dog, you know it's a good sign. <laughs> They come. They come to greet you when you uh, when you pick up your prints. Ooh, yeah. This one's nice. All right, so here they are. These are three prints. Like I said, I submitted four, and I got three of them got picked. I actually got these done on acrylic last year. I did them on metal, but. I looked at the website and it says that we're able to do, you know, either regular photo prints that are matted, either metal, acrylics, you just can't have it on a float mount because they need to be able to put a bunch of Velcro on the back in order for them to put it onto the walls. But as you guys know, I always like to do acrylics, they just pop off way more than any other print. And this is also face mount acrylic, so it is sandwiched um, in between that dive on in the back so it's nice and thick. First one we have here is um, above the blooms. So this is the Lake Elsinore flower blooms that just occurred recently. Here we have the uh, uh, after the snow, which is the Lake Tahoe uh, Lake, which is uh, shot right after the largest or one of the biggest storms that they had. And here we have the wind and sea, uh, probably was still one of my favorite ones, uh, slow motion at the, at the hut, which is the wind and sea shot. So before you actually submit the photos to the fair, you actually have to print out a media tag. And the media tags basically go onto the back of each one of the photos just to ensure that what you submitted is the same photo that you're submitting to the fair because maybe they've had some issues before when people would submit a photo, then they would try to maybe swap out photos and change it up before they submit it. So you have to print out a media tag to put on the back of the photo and it just marks it, has your name, uh, it has the entry tag number, uh, the division it's part of, so whatever the division is, these uh, two of them are going to go into the large print category, uh, as well as um, just has a title and description on the bottom of the tag, and that's actually what they're going to be using to make your little name tag on the side of your photo when they put it up on the wall.
pulling into uh, Del Mar Fairgrounds right now to drop off my prints. The drop off time today is from 12 to 7 p.m. That's about 4.30, almost five o'clock. So perfect time for me to drop it off after work. Here is my photos right here. Let's bring these in. All right, so I'm all checked in. I just turned in my photos. They had to make sure, of course, like I said, that the media tags matched up, that I was meeting all of the right uh, prerequisites or requirements in order for it to be presented onto the board. You can't be oversized, you can't be undersized. It has to be either matted or acrylic or a metal. So, you know, no, nothing unique. You basically have to just go by those rules. And if you do, then you should be good to go. Um, and then once you are checked in, you get a little reception packet. And it's basically, you get a couple tickets to the fair, which is really cool. Uh, you get the claim check, which is these little small tags here, which um, allows you to pick up your artwork after the fair is done. You're invited to the artist reception where they have pretty much everyone that's made it into tier two, which this is right here where your photo is gonna be up. They invite everyone out here from you know 6.30 to 8.30 at night uh, for you to hang out with all of the other photographers and you can just kind of mingle and, and network and do whatever you want to do uh, and see all of the photos up before actually um, the rest of the public. So you get to hang out with all the artists, all the photographers, and uh, see all of the really cool photos that people have submitted and got into the fair. So the fair ends on July 4th every year. So July 5th, you have to come back, pick up all your stuff, show your claim ticket. That way you're able to get your photos. So today is May 30th. It's actually the day before the fair actually opens. And this is when they have their artist reception. So basically everyone that made it into tier two that has their photos on the wall are invited to this um, reception, which is basically the night before the fair opens. Two of my prints are at the large print water or large print area, which is one right here. There's one of them right here. And let's go look for the other one, which is right over here. And number two is right there. And here's my other one, two. <laughs> and because of course you can't film inside there you're not supposed to there's just signs everywhere that say no photo or video of any kind as you can see it was just basically all the photos are up there on the walls really really cool was able to get a couple large prints. As you can see, the large print wall, there wasn't that many on there. So that's why I'm pretty excited I was able to get two prints on the large wall. I was able to meet a couple people here, um, look at their photos as well, and just, you know, just a good networking and kind of a hangout uh, type of evening. And that's about it. So I'm gonna come back to the fair, of course, with the family and enjoy all the sights and sounds and the rides. So there it is. Hope you guys got some value out of this video. Just want to show you guys a little behind the scenes. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back with a bunch more videos. Have a good one. Take care.